This is the most exciting new technology that we've seen in cardiology in my career. Aortic stenosis is usually a disease with time the valve simply wears out and becomes frozen and patients develop shortness of breath, fatigue, and simply uh, lose the ability to do the things they want to do. These are usually elderly patients who are frail and are not great candidates for open heart surgery and they don't have a lot of options and we are able to restore their function and help them breathe again and live um, independent active lives. Traditionally this valve is replaced with open heart surgery where the sternum is cut and the heart is stopped. Uh, patients go on bypass. Then the old valve is cut out and a new valve is sewn in. The procedure that we do uh, is replacing the aortic valve. The uh, arteries in the leg are a direct pipe that go to the heart and we simply slide it up the arteries uh, to the heart. Many patients are familiar with angiograms and stents and this is similar where we go through the artery in the leg up inside the heart. The valve that we are using is a valve that is mounted on a balloon and we position the new valve inside the old valve and then balloon it into place. The old valve, which is calcified and rigid, serves as a scaffold to hold the new valve in place. The patients who received the device, 20% more of them were alive at one year than patients who were randomized to medical therapy. And that, in medical terms, is a dramatic difference. Providing blood flow is a good thing. Patients can breathe, they can walk, they can live active, independent lives. We're right on marching into new frontiers and, and changing the way we, we help more and more patients. It's, it's an exciting time.